Welcome to Electron Online. Now, compared to the previous problem, there's a subtle but very important difference here. Here we have a rotating disk that's rolling around in a circle. The radius of the circle is 2 meters. The radius of the disk is 0.3 meters. Because it's going around in a circle, it also rotates on its axis, which means it will have translational kinetic energy by rolling around the circle and rotational kinetic energy by rotating about its own axis. Notice that the mass of the disk is 4 kilograms. It is a solid disk. We need to know that for the moment of inertia. And the angular velocity is 2 pi radians per second. Notice that they didn't give you the linear velocity. We'll have to calculate that. So the total kinetic energy, that's what we're trying to find. What is the total kinetic energy of the rolling wheel? And to do that, we need to find both the translational and the rotational kinetic energy. That means the total kinetic energy is equal to the sum of the translational kinetic energy plus the rotational kinetic energy. Now the translational kinetic energy is going to be one half mv squared, and we'll need to find out what v is in this case, plus one half times the moment of inertia times omega squared. Now they did give us omega, and we'll worry about that later. But we do need to find the moment of inertia of a solid disk, and that is equal to one half the mass times the radius squared. Now notice, I'm going to use the small r here because it's the radius of the disk which I denoted here by small r. So this is going to now be written as one half mv squared plus one half times the moment of inertia, which is one half m times r squared, r being the radius of the disk. Now what about omega? Well, know that the tangential velocity is equal to the radius times omega. Now again here, this would have to be small r because I'm talking about the angular velocity of the disk related to the velocity of the disk. And so the tangential velocity of the disk will be the same as the velocity of the disk. And therefore we use r, the radius of the disk. That means that omega can be written as v divided by small r, which can go in here. This can then be written as v squared over small r squared. Notice that the radius of the disk then gets canceled out, which means that this is now equal to one half times mv squared plus one quarter mv squared. This portion right here is the translational kinetic energy, and this portion right here is the rotational kinetic energy. Notice that the rotational kinetic energy is about half, or exactly half, I should say, compared to the translational kinetic energy. Now let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. Well, this is equal to one half times the mass, which is four kilograms, times the translational velocity. Hmm but we don't have that translation velocity, we have to calculate it. This is equal to r, which is 0.3 meters, times omega, which is 2 pi, which means that the tangential velocity is 0.6 times pi, and of course it would be in meters per second. So that goes in here, that would be 0.6 times pi squared, plus 1 quarter, times 4 times 0 0.6 pi quantity squared, which means when we combine it, this is really 3 quarters times 4 times 0 0.6 pi squared, like so. And then, of course, you can see that the force cancel out, and that makes it a little bit easier to calculate. We get 0 0.6 times pi, then we square that, and then we multiply it times 3, and we end up with 10.66, or let's say, round it off to 10.7, that would be joules. Now, two-thirds of that would be translation kinetic energy, and one-third of that will be rotational kinetic energy. Divide by 3, we get 3.55 joules for the rotational energy, and times 2, we get 7. Uh, hmm. Yeah, about one zero joules of translational kinetic energy. So notice that's how much translational kinetic energy we have. That's how much rotational kinetic energy we have together. That's the total kinetic energy 
of a disc that's rotating on its axis while it's rotating around the center. Now take a look at the previous video, compare the two, and see where the difference is. That's how it's done.